Hi all, this is Jessica. Today I'll be sharing few tips for giving a technical interview that helped me grasp four internship offers in my third year. So let's start. First, short and crisp introduction. Don't prepare a small introduction for yourself for the technical interviews because in technical interviews you don't have much time for giving a long introduction. Prepare a short introduction. Second, understand the question properly. Once the interviewer is uh, telling you about the question. First, listen to the question clearly. Even if you are not able to understand it properly, do ask questions. Do not hesitate to ask for asking questions because they are there to test your coding skills. They will be willing to explain you the problem statement properly. So do ask as many questions to clarify your doubts regarding the problem statement. And even if you are able to understand the problem statement correctly, do try to come up with some different test cases. Apart from the test cases that are being given by the interview, the so test cases that you come up with, try to find a uh, answer for that and cross check with uh, it with your interviewer that whether uh, for this new test case should this be the answer. This will help you ensure that you have understood the question properly. Third thing, whenever you are giving a solution or trying to trying to approach a so for a solution for the problem statement, think out loud to explain it to the interviewer. How you are approaching towards the solution? Why do you think this should be the approach? And explain them to the interviewer with the help of the test case. Fourth thing, when you start coding out your solution, do give your namings properly. This happens in many companies that the doc where you are writing your code it is sent to the hiring committee along with the review and feedback of the interviewer, and then the hiring committee checks both three things out and then makes a final decision. The clean and proper name code gives you an edge over other parts. Also, the most silent part of your interview is when you are coding. So, try to make it more interactive by explaining your code to the interviewer while you are coding. For example, if you are uh, input, if you are writing an if condition for something, then you can explain the interviewer that why you are uh, writing an if condition here. If you are taking a temporary variable in a loop, why you are taking that loop? What is the significance of that? Try to explain why you are adding things in your code or changing something. It will help you in two ways. First, your interview becomes more interactive, and second, if there is any mistake that you might have done by chance, then the interviewer might help you correcting them out. Because now, once you have written down your code. If you have time, do ask your interviewer. Would you like me to uh, dry down this code with the help of an example? It would give a good impact on the interviewer. It would also help you in uh, figuring out if you have done any mistake while coding out the solution. A uh, few preparation strategies that I personally follow to prepare myself for interviews. So the first one is uh, whenever I used to code in any of the platforms like uh, Geeks or Geeks or um, Flip Code. I used to first read out the question and used to think that I am sitting for an interview, and I used to think out loud while approaching towards the solution. This has really helped me uh, preparing myself for the interview. That how can I uh, express my thoughts and my uh, approach to the interview? Although this thing has helped me a lot, but still we all have a kind of uh, hesitation to speak in front of people. So for that, I participated in lot of coding societies and some mentorship programs, where I got the chance to get mock interviews from the seniors. This has helped me uh, boost my confidence to speak in front of people and explain my approaches to people. So definitely, mock interviews are really important before uh, going to an actual interview. So you can also uh, join any coding society. Or you can ask your seniors or your friends to take your mock interviews, or uh, to prepare yourself and get the confidence that yes, you can also do interviews. Also, if you want, you can join uh, my Telegram community where we take weekly uh, coding challenges, and the top uh, scorers get the chance to get in mock interview time. Uh, we have the link of the Telegram community in the description box. If you want, you can join that. If you really find this video helpful, uh, then do share it with your friends so that they can also get help from this. Thanks for watching. Uh